Hey there folks, today we've got a quick guide on upgrading from run of the mill hits to the trusty Cruise Master DO35. Here we have a bit of a basic list of the tools that you may need to get the job done, along with the kit contents as supplied from Cruise Master. This bad boy is going on an Oztrack X15 hybrid camper, giving the standard and catch the boot. Before we jump into it, safety first, make sure your trailer is on level ground and securely chopped. Taking off the old hitch is as straightforward as removing the full mounted bolts to keep it attached to the trailer's A-frame. You might notice me giving the hitch a little twist there. This is for better access to get the spanner in onto the bolt head. If you've got a power tool like a battle gun, this job is a breeze. But no worries, still rocking a regular old hand ratchet, it'll still, the still do the job just fine, just a little bit slower. Also, quick tip, when you're undoing that last bolt, be careful. Some hitches, especially the mic hitch, are a bit nose heavy. Trust me, you don't want that falling on your big toe. Now that the old hitch is out of the way, let's prep the mounting surface. Want to wipe off any dirt and ensure that it's in good shape without any defects, cracks or fretting. We want a clean slate here because debris or any damage on the mounting surface can lead to the hitch working loose and this is something we definitely do not want. You'll notice that the bolts here that are being used to mount the Cruise Master hitch do not have any washers under the bolt heads. The washers that are supplied in the kit will be used with the nylon nuts. Also on the nylon nuts, these will not need any additional thread locker like lock type or anything else. If you've got a rattle gun, you may be tempted to give these nuts all the other duggers that it can, but here we're just going to run them up snug and we'll use a torque wrench for a final pour later on. Speaking of torque, the magic number is 90 newton meters as per Cruise Master's instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench and you are an avid DIY enthusiast, this may be a great time to slip down to the local tool store and grab yourself one. If not, a friendly neighbour may have one that he can lend to you. Takes that little bit longer using the torque wrench over the rattle gun. But for that bit of peace of mind to ensure that we're following the specifications, it's worth it. Now, we're on to the fun part. Removing the toe pin. Now, this can put up a good fight, especially if you spend a lot of time in the mud or sand. 
those shreds, I would up before. Luckily, this one's removed quite often, so it came off easy. The torque for the tow pin is 440 newton meters. I won't be talking this one down today, though. That's the tow pin coming straight back off. Now, let's get to the hitching process. If you're switching from the hitch coupling like we are, you're in for a treat. Pop the top cover off, push down the red, no red knob, slide the lock open, it's a piece of cake. You don't have to hold that button down forever, just until the slide starts moving. When you receive your DO35, you'll also notice the Cruise Master the thought of everything, and there's a bit of reflective tape on the front side of the hitch to make it a piece of cake to see the hitch in the reverse camera when backing up to it. One of the fantastic things about the Cruise Master hitch is you don't need to be a parking slash reversing play. As long as the tow pin's taper goes into the hitch, you're pretty well good to go. Once you've got the weight off the jockey wheel, keep your fingers clear, push that little red button, and the slide will lock into place. Then take that cover, fit it on top to keep out all the dirt and debris, and you'll hear a satisfying click. So, if you're tired of hitching hassles and want to keep things smooth with your co-pilot, head on over to RV 4x4 and grab yourself a DO35 hitch.